delicious Hasselback chicken caprese. Let's see what's cooking. It's time for yo yo bags. 12. Hello, everyone. This is so simple to make. It looks very impressive when it's all done, and it'd be great to serve even for a company meal. Starting off with a chicken breast half and you're going to take a sharp knife and you're going to make slits across the chicken breast and you're going to slice it very deeply but not all the way through the chicken. You want to make sure it's intact on the bottom. Then you'll take a piece of basil, fresh basil, a tomato slice and then a slice of mozzarella cheese. I'm using fresh mozzarella cheese that I made myself and then just continue to repeat filling up each of the slits with the basil leaf, the slice of tomato and then the cheese. The chicken will stretch so it's going to all fit in there. You just may have to make some of the tomato slices smaller and some of the cheese slices smaller as you get towards the smaller end of the chicken breast just so that it fits nicely. Now I made slits about every centimeter, about every half inch along the chicken breast. Now to transfer to a pan, what I did was I used the knife I used to cut the chicken with, slid it underneath and then just transferred it that way into my baking dish. I seasoned these chicken breasts two different ways. I tried it with simply using some Italian dressing. So this is just zesty Italian dressing. And I poured a generous amount, let's say four or five tablespoons over top of the chicken breasts. And then I sprinkled it with a little bit of freshly ground pepper. Now, if you've ever had a caprese salad, you'll know that it is tomato, basil, fresh mozzarella, and balsamic vinegar or a balsamic reduction. So what I did for some of them is I poured on about a tablespoon or so of balsamic reduction on top before I bake them. Then I put them in the oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for about 30 minutes until when I stuck a thermometer into it, it read 165 degrees Fahrenheit. And there it is, as you can see, um, homemade fresh mozzarella, although it does melt, it doesn't kind of melt completely and ooze all over the place. It actually stays inside the chicken very, very nicely. So that worked out very well. This was absolutely delicious. Between the balsamic and the Italian dressing versions, I actually preferred the Italian dressing, but the balsamic vinegar one was also very good. So you know what? Try both or try one or the other, whatever you'd like. This was a fantastic dinner. I served it with some fresh asparagus and some tomato rice. Now I will be posting a video on how to make your own mozzarella cheese at home. It is really easy. This video will be posted on July 8th, 2017. If you're watching after that date, go ahead and click right on your screen because the video will be there for you. And if you're not, then you'll have to wait until tomorrow. Thanks for watching.